Anyway. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome, happy Monday. So as y'all come in, comment below and let me know that you're here. Uh, tonight we're going to be designing a large standing spray that's going to be over the top. Um, I feel it was the perfect opportunity since we have an order that's going out in the morning is to do this standing spray with you guys. Um, standing sprays are the same method if you're doing artificial or if you're doing fresh. Um, the only thing is with the fresh, you can't bend the stems. Um, you can't manipulate the stem like you would if you were using artificial. So I'm going to show you step by step what you're going to need um, and the processes of how I go through of um, laying out is the same blueprint for every stand and spray or saddle that goes on top of the tombstone or a casket spray it's the same thing the only difference between a standing spray and a casket spray is is that the standing spray will stand up and it's most time i do them oval um, with the cast spray you still have the oval but in the front you want to drape it down so um, that's pretty much the only difference between a standing spray and a casket spray is one side is draped, um, one is laying flat, one is standing up. So, all right, so for this project, we're going to need two blocks of wet oasis. Um, so I'm just going to place this on my never wilt saddle. So these are never wilt saddles. And the reason they say never wilt is um, you can put as much water um, in this foam as you want um, and the water is just going to run down inside of this container right here it's got holes in the um, the bar um, it's got holes in the bar uh, here so when the water leaks from the foam it runs right into this spray bar okay so it's, they come with these black clamps um, so you've got two clamps per block so we're going to need four clamps um, and it has little holes on each side. So all you're gonna do is just gonna line that up and just push that in just like that. And guys, you can use these right here more uh, than just for funeral or sympathy work. You can use this for bridal tables, you can use this for mantles, all kinds of things. So it's not just for funeral work, okay? Um, when it snaps and you know it's in there it's not going to come out okay so just like that it's all secure now they also come with these um, tags right here those are for standing okay um, so I'm just gonna place this on my easel just like that now I'm gonna show you I'm gonna need another easel if Ben wants to get me another sure. easel um, we're going to have to double up on the easel just because um, of the size of uh, standing spray that we're going to be making, okay? So, I'm going to show you. We're going to double it up. We're going to double it up, okay? And I will tell you that the, um, the um, standing sp uh, easels are very dangerous. So you want to make sure that if you have these um, sitting around that you have them in a place where um, you don't trip over them, okay? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out this middle section. I'll show it to you close. We're going to cut out this middle section right here, okay? Because what we're going to do is we're just going to actually just lean this right into that. Just like that. Okay. So all we're going to do is we're just going to feed this right into this, okay? And we're going to feed that right over top of that, just like that. So now we will need some zip ties. I'm going to zip tie both of these together. You can use chenille stems, um, whatever you want to use, you can use. I'm just going to zip tie these together, and it's just going to hold them together. And I'll zoom in in just a minute so you can see. So if you don't have an easel that is strong enough, you can double them up just like this. Um, it'll be a lot stronger to hold your standing spray. You only need four. This is mostly just to hold the top part. 
together. Okay. So, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take our knife and we're gonna have to make her hole just a little bit bigger. Just like that. What we do is we hold this together. There we go. Just like that. So you see how much sturdier that is? So now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our line flower. Um, we're gonna start with snapdragons. So we got three bunches of snapdragons. So we'll lay these out. Of course we throw our garbage in the floor. So, um, Snapdragon's in a bunch times 10 to a bunch, so we have 30 stems. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our line flower, we're going to get our height, our depth, um, and get our outline of our sanding spray before we start adding greenery and all of our other flowers, okay? So, um, that one's a little poor, so we're going to check that one okay so we're just going to start up here what we do up here we have to do down at the bottom okay and let me make sure that you can see here we'll zoom in there just a little bit so you can see so whatever i do at the top i'm going to be doing at the bottom And what this does, it helps us stay in balance with our, um, with our um, form here. All right, so I'm just gonna do one side all the way around and then we're gonna duplicate that on this side. And hopefully we'll have enough that we can um, bring the bring some of these snapdragons in the middle here. Hopefully we'll have enough to do that. So again, this is the same method as if we were doing a um, cast spray or even a topper for your um, loved one's tombstone. Okay, so now we're going to duplicate this over here. Oh, this one's a little rotten, so I can't use that one. See there? So I'm going to place that right there so it matches. See, I want the this up here to be taller, so if like, you want it to be taller, then you just place a taller stem right up there. Because I want this to be grand and over the top. We want this to be grand and over the top. So it looks like I need to place another couple more at the bottom down here. We will put a ribbon in this as well. So, and it's amazing how much you can get in um, two blocks of foam, okay? So don't feel like that you're gonna run out of room or whatever, because you can get a lot of flowers in two blocks, okay? Um, one thing that you want to do is you want to make sure 
that your stem is all nice and clean okay so all of these little bumps from your greenery or where there was greenery down the stem you want to make sure all that is nice and smooth because it's the same way if you were um, giving yourself a shot with the needle being jagged or rough it's going to have a hard time going in and probably it's going to hurt um, but when you leave these little knots on your stem and they're not nice and clean like this um, most likely you're you're not gonna have a clean incision meaning that your flowers are going to fall out and you don't want that okay that's the last thing that we want we do not want our flowers falling out they also make um, the same glue that you can um, use um, for the corsages you can use in this as well okay um, and that is the wet foam corsage glue um, or it's corsage glue but you can use it with wet product um, I mean a wet foam okay so this one right here I need to bring it in just a little bit right there there we go Guys, it has been a while since I made a ca uh, standing spray. It takes a little while to get back in the groove of things, let me just tell you. But it'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. So it's the same thing with your reefs or, you know, all the things that, um, even if it's something new, right, it's not always going to be perfect. So, like, for an example, I'm going to point something out to you that I've noticed by looking at this. This one's shorter than this one right it's shorter but with everything that i'm going to add out here with roses and all that it's going to be fine so i'm totally okay with that i'll probably come back in and add um another one out here just because it'll probably irk me until i fix it we'll just go ahead and fix it right now okay let's fix it right now This one is still not quite right, but it'll be all right. We'll, we'll balance it out. These have some thick stems. Oh my gosh. And that's a bad thing because that takes up a lot of your foam. I prefer them to have skinny stems, but Hey, thicker stems mean uh, heavier duty stems that's going to hold your flower and not break as easy. So, hey, I guess we got to look at it that way, right? Alright, so. So again, you want to get all of the knots, all of the greenery off of your stem. And as you're inserting your stem, you want to hold the end of the stem, okay? Just like for example. I don't want to come up here in the middle of the stem and start inserting. If I do that, I have to break it, the stem, between here and there, right? And I don't want that. So when you, it's like a pencil, right? You want to grab it and insert it and then feed, work your hand up the stem, feeding it into the foam, okay? So if I were to go here, it's not going to go in, it's probably going to break, right? But if I come down here and I start inserting this like this, see, that makes, that makes that's for sure that we're not going to break your stem. Alright, so we're going to go right here, one right there. Right here, insert that. 
And guys, I will tell you that I've only been doing fresh flowers for eight, well, only eight years. And I know eight years is a long time. But when I first started, guys, I was not this good. Standing sprays were my weakness, okay? Um, they look terrible. Terrible. And when I say terrible, I mean terrible. They were not even. They were awful. They were awful. Okay. So this is what we have so far. I'm going to zoom in for you so you can actually see right there what we have. Probably going to zoom in a little bit more there for you. So you actually see it a little bit closer. So we'll zoom that out. So you can actually see. Okay. So the next thing that we want to do is I'm going to start putting some greenery in behind it. Okay. And all I'm going to do is I'm just using leather leaf and lemon leaf um, to green it up. Okay. Oops. There we go. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to start with my uh, leather leaf because this is where I want to start inserting my greenery. Now, when I first put my greenery in, I'm going to put the stem all the way against the back of my um, form. form, okay? You don't want to be putting your greenery out in the middle of your uh, foam here because that's where your flowers are going to go. All of your greenery in the beginning needs to go all the way back so the stem is resting against the uh, spray bar, okay? So we're going to do this all the way around. And you're probably asking, well, why didn't we do that first, right? Well, some pieces of greenery are too big, so we need to cut it down. So there's no way of knowing if we're going to need to cut our um, greenery down until we get in the middle of once we do our outline. Once we have our outline, then that's going to help us determine what size or what, how big of a piece of greenery we're going to need to back it up, right? all the way around and the once we get this done I'll put a couple pieces of lemon leaf in here but other than that we will not put any more greenery in here until we actually have all of our flowers in place So it's the same thing with your artificial. If you're doing a standing spray, um, I would not come in and put all of my greenery and all that in the middle. I would start out with just some leather leaf, plastic leather leaf, um, after you get your foundation done, which is your line flower. That's telling you how long, how wide, and what is the depth, okay? That, you need to get that done first before you put any greenery at all. And I have one more um, pack of snapdragons. We may come back in the end and use those in here to make it more bigger and grander. So always, um, we after we get everything in here, we may wanna make it bigger um, than what we already have it. So we can do that if we have other flowers that are lime flowers that um, that we have available, we can do that. All right. So I'm just putting a couple pieces of lemon leaf in here. As we're going all the way around.
Okay, so we have all that in place. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, add in our hydrangeas. So let me show you what we've done with our hydrangeas. I have a whole bucket of hydrangeas here. So here's our hydrangeas right here, right? So all I did was I took a white hydrangea just like this, and I just took our blue Rust-Oleum paint, and I took them outside and I sprayed them. So this right here is what they look like from this to this. Look how pretty, okay? So let's move these back out of the way, and we're going to add these into our standing spray. So these right here are going to be nestled down in to our foam. There we go. And then we're going to have roses that's going to come peeping out of all of this, okay? Um, so we're kind of setting the foundation of filling this big area in right here. And I think I have a total of seven hydrangeas. So we need seven hydrangeas that will that will be able to work our way down. Down the spray. I will tell you another uh, trick that you can use, which I think we have. Do we have some alum over there, Ben? Alum. It's um, powder. It's in a little. You want to use alum. You want to dip these in alum if you have it. I don't know if I have any alum. It would be right there on the bottom. Yeah, I do, right there. Okay. Yep, alum. And basically what it is, guys, it's a pickling, uh, pickling um, spice. You can find this in the spice aisle. I can't even talk today. You just want to cut that, dip it right down into the container, okay? And what this does is it um, makes the hydrangea drink. Okay, um, this stuff is amazing. So I'm gonna put my bow right in there. Stick it down in there, just like that. Have that right there. Y'all, I have some uh, baby eucalyptus, which is the spiral eucalyptus. Um, Y'all won't believe what I did to it. It's going to really make this blue and white pop. And I think we need another one, like, right in there, I think. All right, so we're just going to dip that right down in there just like that. Oh, I need to go up some. So, if you have that, you just basically just um, cut it, re-dip it. There we go. That's where I wanted it. Okay. So, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add in all kinds of roses. <laughs> Excuse me. I think it was the pickling spice. So, hopefully y'all can see what we've done here. So, hopefully you can see that okay. All right, so we have this big, beautiful roses. Now, I'm going to show you some roses. They still have the guard petals on. So, if you ever get roses from the store or someone brings you roses and they don't look the greatest, they've probably um, not peeled the guard petals off. Because a lot of times people, um, people think, well, that's part of the rose. It should stay like that. No, it should not. Okay. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay. I think that's good. All right. So if you look at all of these petals here, they're bruised. So what I want to do is I want to peel those off. So it looks like that it has clean no bruising 
Like this one's bruised right here. That's a guard pedal. We can peel that off. Peel that off. So basically, we're just peeling it back until we see that that rose look pristine and clean and beautiful again. Okay. And it's not that the roses are old or anything like that. It's just it's guard petals, what we call guard petals. So once I start, another thing that you need to do, not all these have thorns, but if they have thorns, you need to take your knife and you need to get those thorns off. So we don't want to get poked. That's the last thing that we want to happen. Because y'all, a, a thorn in your finger is worse than a, um, well, it's worse than a splinter yeah, in, yeah. Your, in your finger. Um, so you don't want that. Okay, so we got that. Oh, that pickling spice made my nose run. I'm good. All right, so I'm just going to. Thank you. And also, guys, when you peel this right here, you want to hear, you want to hear that, that pop. Okay, if you're not hearing that pop. That means that the rose is pretty much done. And there's a red one inside there, Ben. Mm -hmm. We'll have Ben to get one out so you can actually, you can hear what I'm talking about um, when I say it's done. This one? Um, you get another one. That one's a little obvious that it's done. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, I think this one. No, nope, that one's still good. Yeah, I think we've already done this one. So this one right here, right? There's no sound at all. The, the petals are just peeling off, okay? Even though it still feels firm, the petals are just coming away very easily, okay? That means that rose is done. Can't sell that. Can't send that out. But look how pretty these are. These are going to fill that in very nicely and beautiful. Y'all, then we have something else that's going to make it pop. I cannot wait to put it in because it's going to be gorgeous and over the top. So you just peel it back until you see that it's really nice and clean and beautiful. And we may have to clean more. Just depends on where we land. We have more. But since this is a, um, so I will tell you that this spray costs $300. So um, we wanna make sure that we give them enough roses that the perceived value is there. Plus, we want to make a, a statement when we're sending this. Um, again, guys, as I tell you over and over, let your work speak for itself. Okay? Let your work speak for itself because that will get you farther in your business than anything. Because people will come to know your work and your style. So we've got one more left to clean. And then we can start inserting them into our foam. Alright, so again, we're going to start up here at the top and work our way down. Again, if you have any knots or anything on your rows, you want to make sure that they're nice and clean. Nice and clean, pristine. pristine. Um, so it makes your incision a whole lot easier. 
And also, we don't want to damage the foam because um, it will it will basically um, mess up where we can insert more flowers. If we put a big hole there, we can't. It weakens all of that foam around it. Okay, so um, we just want to make sure that we make less incisions are always better. And with my roses, I usually start with the top and then I'll work my way around and down to the bottom. Because I really don't know how many roses I'm gonna put in here until I'm actually in the, the moment of putting them in, okay? It's just one of those things. I, just, I don't know where they're gonna go until I'm in the moment. So you can clean your thorns as you go if you want. Totally left that to you. Now, if you have a hard time doing it standing up, you can lay it down on the table and do it that way. It's totally left up to you. You always do what is easier for you, okay? If it's easier for you to um, do it laying down, do that. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Nothing wrong with that. Right here in the front, how pretty that is. And guys, I want this to be loaded with roses. She's absolutely going to love this. one that kind of curves up a little bit. So I'm going to put this one right down here on the bottom. That one right there. This one right in here. And you want it where it pops out. That lemon leaf right there is in the way. Not anymore. Okay, and then I have another one that I want to put right down here. Then I want to take this one. I'm going to put one at the bottom. So the bottom is not as full as roses right here as down at the bottom. At the bottom is more of a peak. So I'll put one rose right here. And then there'll be a couple down there, but they won't be as near as many as we have right in here. Guys, I will tell you that it's the greatest feeling to be able to design a piece like this for your family if something were to happen. Um, you know, to be able to create flowers for your loved one, it's, it's, it's a feeling that is so rewarding because it's the last thing that you can do for them. So that's why, you know, I started um, this group um, to be able to teach you fresh, artificial, teach you everything that I know because I know how expensive these are, um, especially in a time of need of when you have to pay for a funeral bill and all the things, you know, um, not to say not buy from a florist, but I'm just saying that when you're able to create a piece uh, from you to them, um, it speaks bigger volume. Um, 
so. All right, so let's put a couple more flowers in here. So we have this area right here to fill in. But y'all, look how pretty this is with all these roses. How pretty and how gorgeous. Ugly petals off. There we go. Now you could put um, daisies, there's all kinds of things that you could put in here. Um, I just chose hydrangeas, snaps, and roses. I think this is just a, a more elegant look than having um, daisies and carnations. <laughs> We're just filling it up, guys. Filling it up. Now the next thing that we add in here, y'all, is gonna really, really, really bring this together. It's gonna really make it shine and pop. Um, and again, we took something and spray painted it. So think outside the box when you design this, okay? All right, so look here. We've got silver eucalyptus. Now, it was green, but all I did was is I took my silver spray paint and I spray painted it. Y'all, just spray painted it. So there's some uh, ends here that are not the greatest, so I'm gonna cut it off. I don't know where my, oh, here they are. I'm just gonna cut this off and it's gonna look new again, okay? So again, right here. So down here is what it looked like, all that ugliness, and we sprayed it and made it look good at the top. But you're not going to see this down here because this is where I'm going to insert it into my phone. Okay. So if you have eucalyptus or seedy uh, eucalyptus or even greenery or whatever that doesn't look so hot, you can spray paint. Now we're going to start adding in our silver, and that's going to really, really bring it to life. OMG. And some of this is, you know, if the petals just fall off, that means it's no good, okay? This is still good. Um, it's just that it discolored a little bit that I didn't like, so I spray painted. We need a tall piece, and I think this is the piece right here for it to go in at the top. I think this needs to go right in here. Now, I will come out with other things all the way around, so don't panic on me yet. You see how that's going to start making it look bigger and more grander um, than what it already is. So again, right here we got some that don't look too hot, so we cut that off just like that. Come right back in here. We're going to start bringing that out, okay? We don't want everything to be flat.
So this right here is a really nice pretty piece that we could put at the bottom because this is going to curl up and that's what we want. So I'll place this at the bottom. We need a straight piece down there. You all let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying this tutorial and I want to come back in and answer your questions. There you go. So see how that just looks uh, nasty? that and we need to cut that down some more all right so I'm gonna come right back over here push that in just like that Going to continue on so the pieces like this that have multiple pieces we can pull that off and we can use this in the middle here oh i don't want that that right in the middle and i think the silver is making it guys I think the silver is making it come to life. Y'all, it's beautiful. I wish y'all were here to actually see it in person. I know the camera is not giving it justice. It is stunning. So if I did not put that silver in there, it would have looked a little blah, right? It would have looked a little traditional. It would not stand out from everybody else. But with this silver, it's going to catch people's eye, okay? And that's what we want. We want our pieces when we send it to a, a funeral, um, do flowers for a loved one. We want those pieces to stand out and speak um, to the people that are looking at these. Um, We want the wow factor. Like, wow, who made that? Wow, where did that come from? You know, that's what we want. And y'all uh, have heard me say this. When I design a piece, I design as if I'm designing for my own family. Um, and that's the only way to do it, guys. That is truly the only way to do it. Um, so, as with your um, wreaths, right, that you design, or your centerpieces or whatever, design those pieces as if you were making those for your own family, okay? Don't send anything out less than that, okay? If, if you would not sell it to your family, right, then don't send it out. Because those customers are are our family. They are our family. All right, so I have one more, and I'm trying to see where I, I think I want to put it right in here. That's where I need to put it right in here. I think mm -hmm. right there is where it needed to go. Y'all, so now after we have everything complete, now we need to go back in and start adding greenery in between all this to start bringing that a little bit more life to it, okay? So let's start adding some greenery. 
in here. So I'm just going in and I'm just filling it in, guys. Okay, there's no... I'm just going in wherever I think that a piece of greenery needs to be. Okay. I'm just filling it in. And even though you may not be able to see the phone or whatever, I still want that greenery being brought from the back to the front, okay? Because um, you can't see the greenery in here, but, or the green foam, but I want you to be able to experience, to have that greenery, to see that life of green, right? We have flowers, but the greenery adds to the life of the flower, right? Like if you go out and you look at a field of flowers, but no greenery, how would that look? That would look very boring, right? So, even though it's pretty, there's no green, there's no life, right? Um, or to me, there's not, right? I like to see greenery, love greenery. Greenery makes the arrangements. Like, thank God for greenery, right? Like, it would be very boring without the greenery out in the world today, right? If we just had flowers and sticks and twigs and no greenery, it would be very boring. <laughs> it would be very boring. All right, so I'm gonna cover up my stem. So I have stems here showing, I don't like that. So um, we're gonna put that right in there. Have that to cover, camouflage that a little bit. There. See, we have some bigger pieces here, so we can actually come back here and add these pieces in so it brings a little bit of that green green life no nope, I like that area enough of it yep it doesn't work there but I do need to put a piece right here though So guys, if you start adding greenery in here and you start losing your shape, then that's when you turn it around and then that's when you back it. Um, so a backing is when you have greenery going this way and then you put greenery this way, right? So we put our greenery going this way. Now we'll go back and put our greenery going this way and that's gonna give the back of our greenery more stability. So we'll do that in just a minute so you can see what I'm talking about. So guys, there's a lot of flowers in here. We could put a whole lot more if we wanted to. But I think that we're at a $300 mark. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it around and we're gonna back it. Again, like I said, we got greenery going one way, but we need to put the greenery going the other way. Oh, this is heavy. Heavy. Okay, so we have our greenery coming back, but we don't want that, okay? We want to be able to back our greenery by going back in and placing that in. And what that does is that forces our greenery to stay up. Okay, just like that. Let's see if you need a bigger piece of greenery cover up some stems you can do that just place that in just like that so 
So again, guys, I'm just going all the way around. Turning our greenery the opposite direction. So we don't want to go that way. We want to go this way. We want the pretty side facing the back. Turn it around. Oh, that's heavy. 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 Okay. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put a bow in it. And y'all, it's done. It's done. I don't think it needs anything else. Maybe does it need anything else? It's beautiful. Hopefully, it will knock their socks off. And um, hopefully, they'll absolutely love it. Okay. So, we're going to do two different ribbons here. We're going to do, because um, this is for the North Carolina Tar Heel fan. So, we got the Tar Heel blue, which is the baby blue. And then we're going to put black with it. And we're going to put a bow right in there. Y'all, look how pretty that's going to be. Is that going to be gorgeous or what? All right. So, I want my ribbon to hang down y'all we want to make a statement here okay we really want to make a statement and long tails in a ribbon is really going to make a statement and ribbon is cheap so we can really make a big impact big 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 impact with ribbon Y'all, if it even if it drapes the floor, that's even more grand. Alright, so we're gonna put her black in here. Now I will be splitting this into smaller loops, okay? We're not gonna leave, well maybe we can leave it that because it is a big spray. But we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Look at that ribbon. OMG. Alright, so I'm just going to come right back in, guys. And I'm going to put two loops, one on each side. One on each side. Guys, I'm going to, guys, I'm going to use a zip tie on this. i just tell you, I'm going to use a zip tie. I have the European. Yeah. I'm going to show you. Well, actually, I can't. Um, it's actually, it's a spray bar instead of the cage. Um, do we have any more of those spray cages over there, Ben? I'm going to show you, if we have one, I'm going to show you another. If you have a smaller spray that you need to do, I'm going to show you those. It's a plastic cage. Yep, that's it. Okay, so how we use the spray bar here, they also have these spray cages. And what it is, is that you put your foam in here and then you fold it up and then you're able to 
uh, designing this. Now, if you were to design in these, I suggest that you always use the one that has the open bottom, okay? They do make them with a solid bottom, meaning you can't put no flowers in the bottom. So your flowers are gonna be cut off, you know? Um, it's a per th If it's closed in, those are the ones that they usually put a bow at the top and it's normally like a half fan shape with a bow. I don't like those. I like the ones with the open bottom so you can insert your flowers. Um, okay. So, so guys, so now we need to um, insert this into our design. Y'all, it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be beautiful. So we're just gonna wrap that around our pick. Just wanna spread this out. Just like that. Okay, and then I can push that in how I need to. So now I need to blend this in with my flowers. So everything blends. When I say blend, I'm just, you know, moving your flowers around so everything doesn't look like it's all just been thrown in here. So for the black, because it's right here in the front, guys, I think that I'm going to rip it in half. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because it needs a little bit of, to break it out a little bit, okay? And I'm going to cut it right up above the floor, okay? Now, if you have ribbon in here that you don't like where it's placed, okay, you can, which I'm going to do, I'm going to pick this in the back so it looks like streamers are coming out the back as well. So, what do you think, Ben? Mm hmm Yeah. This right here. It needs to be split. It needs to be split, yeah. Yeah, like it that. softens it a little more. It does. So it doesn't look all so bold. Bold, yeah. Yep, that's what it needed. It it needs that. Now we'll do some of them solid, but I think some of them need to be. Is it more poof? It does give it more poof. All right, so this one over here. I'm just cutting this at an angle. Guys, I only want one over here, and what we're going to do with the other one is we're going to let it come down just a little bit like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather these three. Okay. These three, just like this. You want your pick? Please, let's do the pick machine. Guys, and with this uh, fabric here, it's very easy to... Um, Fix this so you can pick it just like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right in behind here, and I'm just going to feed this right up underneath this. Push that in. 
just like that. Actually, turn down just like this. Okay. So, the whole thing, all the way through, when you're looking at it, um, has, and I'll hold it up so you can actually see. So if you see how that looks, hoping I'm, I'm hoping I get that in camera. But look how pretty that is. Mm -hmm. Look how pretty that ribbon is. So, so y'all, this is our finished spray. I think it turned out beautiful, beautiful. and over the top. Um, this black ribbon is be split. But other than that, guys, I think it's complete. I think it's complete. So y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully y'all have enjoyed watching me make this. Um, I think this turned out so beautiful. I hope she will be pleased. So if y'all have any comments, feel free to comment below. And I'll come back in and answer them for you guys. Um... But I think it turned out amazing. So. Alright guys. Well that's all I have for tonight. You all have a blessed, blessed Monday. Be safe. Be well. Y'all. Hopefully y'all are planning for the new year. New year. New beginning. New things. Right? So. Until Wednesday guys. Y'all have a blessed, blessed, blessed Monday. Bye guys.